hey what's up guys uh, in this video let's talk about placing markers on your uh, leaflet maps uh, in one of my previous videos i already talked about how to bring flutter maps inside your leaflet uh, sorry leaflet maps inside your flutter apps as well as to uh, as well as how to place a marker on a specific point a specific location based on the uh, coordinates uh, on your flutter map a lot of people were asking me uh, how to place a marker on the map in real time. That is, if you suppose if I want to place a marker on John F. Kennedy International Airport. Okay, here it is there, right? Wait, I'll zoom. See, this is John F. Kennedy International Airport, right? It's showing John F. Kennedy. For zooming, it's control on an emulator. It's control. Uh, I mean, hold control and then uh, click and drag, guys. It'll automatically zoom. Uh, anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, to place a marker on John F. Kennedy International Airport right away, what should I do? Earlier, I just hard coded a marker, this specific marker. Wait, I'll show you the code. This is the code that we wrote, right? We already hard coded a specific marker uh, based on two coordinates, and then we place that marker on this uh, map layer. So what if I wanted to add a marker in real time? Suppose I have a button here, okay. And uh, upon tapping that button, I need to place a marker on John F. Kennedy Airport or whatever uh, place the user inputs. So what if I wanted to do something like that? Let's see how to do that in this particular video. Okay, first of all, uh, let's clear this a bit. Let's uh, clean this up a bit. So rather than uh, bringing in a marker directly here, what I'll do is I'll write another function. Uh, set mark markers. Ah, it's always messing up with my alignment return all markers okay now instead of giving it here giving the marker configuration here all you need to do is take this and uh, all markers dot add cool right uh, once this is done you can simply go ahead and instead of giving it like this What was it? All markers. Yeah, now you understand, right? I have simply created a list uh, of marker type here, and then I am adding this specific marker to this. This alignment is all messed up, guys. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, I'm adding one specific marker to this uh, particular list, and I am returning all this list from this uh, particular function. So instead of this, I need to call that function, right? Set markers. Okay. Okay. Now let's just run the code once more to see if we break and we are already breaking something. Okay, it hot reloaded and it didn't break anything. I'm still able to get that uh, tapped functionality on the marker. Here we gave the marker, right? Marker tapped. And when I'm tapping on that marker, this is getting printed onto the console which means that uh, our thing so far works fine. Now, uh, the thing is you can add multiple markers like this. Say for instance, I'm adding another marker. This is, I'll give it a different color, maybe green. And uh, this will be marker two. And I'll change this a bit. See, you have another marker nearby to this red marker and when you click tap on the green marker, it says marker 2. And when you tap on the red marker, it says, oh, I didn't tap on that red marker exactly. Okay, now I moved the marker a bit. So, uh, these two are, if I tap on the green marker, it will show marker 2. Whereas, if I tap on the red marker, it will show marker tapped. 
which means that these two are two separate instances of markers. These two are not related to each other at all. So this is how you place multiple markers on a uh, single map uh, layer in your uh, flutter apps, I mean leaflet maps. Now uh, the thing that I told before starting this video was to allow, these are also hard coded markers only right, these are also hard coded markers. Now we will see how to place a marker on a location that you want to uh, specify while the user is interacting with your application, right. So how do we do that? So for doing that we need to do something called geo geocoding, okay, geocoding is nothing but you get a location from the user and then you convert that location into uh, latitude and longitude coordinates or you can also do a reverse geocoding that is you get the latitude and longitude uh, from the user and then you change that into a specific location, okay, this is forward and reverse geocoding. So uh, how do you do that? So in order to do that we have a, uh, we will make use of a plugin called geocoder, okay. So let's go ahead and install this first, I uh, will stop this, get into pubspec.yaml as usual and then uh, uh, geocoder, okay. This will go ahead and install this particular package for us, get back into main.dart and then how he has used it, just copy this, okay this import I have added here and uh, the next thing I will do is I will go ahead and add a button, this is the app bar right. go ahead and add a function called add marker which will be a dialog future uh, add marker async for now I will simply go ahead and uh, uh, hard code the address guys but in your case you need to bring in a input widget and then uh, allow the user to add a address type in the address uh, during runtime. But for now let's just go ahead and uh, what's this? Oh I need to return that. okay I'll handle that. Now wait uh, show dialog. This is where we might add the particular uh, marker. This will again be an async. Uh, final. Here, I think we can simply make use of the thing that he had given. Yeah, here it is, right? Fine. Now all you need to do is make use of the first to add a list inside, a, I mean add this marker to the list. So all markers dot add and uh, once again we will take this, cool, here instead of this coordinates we just need to give first dot uh, latitude sorry coordinates dot latitude and uh, first dot coordinates dot longitude fine 
here instance it is just give first dot feature name okay this will print the uh, wait yeah, you'll you'll get to know that uh, while it runs okay this is all done and now we can go ahead and simply remove all the markers from here it is not going to be needed for us right and uh, instead of this we'll just give Uh, JFK, JFK, New York. Okay, now this should return a address. I mean, this should return a couple of coordinates, and uh, we are making use of those coordinates to place a marker on this map. Now, what this will do is this will add the marker to the uh, all markers list, and uh, this is the thing that shows the dialog for our uh, whenever we tap the button on the app bar. And inside that dialog, there will be a button along. You can add a text field. Wait, I'll show you. I'll run this and show you. This is John F. Kennedy uh, International Airport, right? So now if we add a marker, it should automatically calculate the coordinates and uh, add a marker uh, somewhere around here. Let's see how good this is. I'm tapping on add it. Uh, dialog opens up. I'm tapping on add it. See? You get a green colored marker here on uh, JFK airport, right? So now you understand how uh, this works, right? Let's try one more on some other point. Let's try Hoboken. Okay, Hoboken. Now if I tap on add and then click on add it. See, automatically a marker is placed on Hoboken. If I tap this, it will print Hoboken. Similarly, if I tap my previous John F. Kennedy marker, John F. Kennedy International Airport. This is because these two marker instances are two separate instances inside that particular list. We are simply adding the next marker to that particular list. That's it. Right? Now, uh, I'll add one more maybe. What's this? this we'll add one more marker on uh, Fort Lee. Okay. Fort Lee. And this is a blue colored marker. Let's see how this appears. Wow, this marker looks really cool compared to these two, right? Now, if I tap on this, it will print as Fort Lee. It will tap on, if I tap on this, it is Hoboken. If I tap on this, it's John F. Kennedy International Airport. So these three markers are three separate instances of uh, markers. And these are all placed on the map at the same time. So now you see how to how easy it is to add a uh, marker on your uh, and place it on your leaflet maps, right? Here, if you add a text field and then uh, ask the user to type in the address and then use this text fields controller to get that address into a variable and use that variable inside this query and use that variable as the query, right? And then uh, perform a, a, a find address from that query. And then uh, from that, get the uh, latitude and longitude coordinates and place the uh, and add the marker to this list. And uh, this list will, whatever marker you add, it will automatically, uh, I mean, uh, it will automatically add it to the all markers. All markers is nothing but a list of marker uh, type. And since our map is using set markers to set all the markers, it's automatically getting added to this particular uh, map instance as well. This is the whole concept behind adding multiple markers on your leaflet applications. But now if you notice, uh, if I stop this application and then restart it again, all the markers will vanish, right? They are not getting saved anywhere. So in our next video, we'll see how to uh, save the markers to a Firestore collection or something and then reload it from uh, access the Firestore collection whenever the app loads and then take all those marker data and then uh, populate it as markers on a uh, leaflet map. Okay, so this is why I tried to introduce Firestore in my last video. In my next video, we'll see how to read uh, data and write data to a Firestore collection and then, and then after that, following that, we'll see how to uh, read marker data from a Firestore collection and populate them as markers on a leaflet map as well as to write a new marker uh, inside your Firestore collection as well. Cool, right? Uh, expect those videos in this week as well. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel to watch more cool stuff like this. 
and uh, help uh, hitting the thumbs button will really uh, thumbs up button will really help me a lot since it uh, youtube only recommends videos that has a lot of interactions that is either thumbs up or thumbs down so kindly go ahead and uh, click it thanks guys thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye